Okay. Oh, oh, your business is your kid. I get what you're saying. Okay. All right. Now, hmm. Let's figure out what y'all's kinks are. We'll start with you this Ooh. time. What's your, yeah, yeah, your number one kink. I mean, somebody on the internet might be have the same kink as you. You never know. Okay. Into the mic for us? Yeah, look for kink is I love a man that smells good and has confidence. Like, if you smell good. Her, her eyes just flutter, y'all. She, <laughs> she really likes that. When he smells good, I'm like, I don't even care what you look like, baby. As long as you smell good. Guys. You got the cologne. So why, so why don't you go ahead and give them a tip of what's the best uh, cologne, in your opinion, for them? Or that guy should get? Baby, get that satin mood ooze. That's my favorite right now. Okay. Like, I love that. And it's a Marley Paris, but I can't think of the name right now. I'm going to get back to you. Okay. All right. Well, she gave out some free game for y'all there, y'all. Uh, so what about you? What's your biggest kink you would say? I just like, I mean, make me want it. I like to be teased. Like, foreplay is everything. That's for me. Like... If you, I hate a just get to it as nigga. Like, yeah. I need you to take your time with it. Like, <laughs> you just like foreplay. Let's, yes. You just, need, you just want foreplay more than anything. What about you? Um, I guess a man that's just confident that knows how to lead you mm. and tell me, uh, this is where we're going at this time. Like, you know? that, that that's like a kink to you, like a guy that's a real leader, like really yeah, turns it's you on. Like, yes, yeah, I like a man that's just blunt and bold and just take the lead. Like, right, yeah. that's what every man should be doing. I can't believe they suck at it. What's up for you? And my biggest kink is reading my mind. Like, being able to let me know what's going on with me without me having to let you know. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Like, one of those guys that you don't got to tell exactly what you want. Yes, he just sees like, it. You just, you can read my energy. You can read my mind. You just already know. I don't have to explain. I don't have to tell you. You just picking up the vibes. Yeah. Man, she that needs a mind me. reader. That scares me. I don't like yeah. that. That is, so, that is <laughs> like, way yeah, too like, hard. That's but way too you much. feel like, okay, I'm safe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. What about you? What's your biggest kink? As a male species, I would love that. But we don't got my readers. So for me, as somebody who can just like, you know, come to the table with what I need, like, you get what I'm saying? They understand me. I want exactly kind of what she said, but I feel like you can't expect that out of human. Like, we people, we human. Like, yeah. nobody perfect. Nobody going to read your mind. I don't know. So you somebody know who me. is accepting. I had it happen before, and it scared me. Oh, I ain't like it. I'm like, hold on. If you know me, you can read my mind. I'm not too hard to, you know. I would say someone who's accepting and loving. That's and... kinky to you? <laughs> okay, what are you? Are you going to say kinky? freaky? Oh, like, <laughs> you like a foot in your mouth or something? It's like, like I don't <laughs> Yeah, they're all so we nice. I want to hear talk, some crazy. Wanna I want to hear. Now. I like to be choked. I, I like to be slapped. Oh yeah, I like that. But we ain't gonna get into all that. <laughs> I ain't gonna get into all that. I ain't gonna kill. Gonna take the poop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, we need that. We need that. Okay, okay lady. I'm stubborn. Now I want to know. Uh, let's let, let's get dicey here. Ooh. What's your body count? Ooh. Oh. Why you gotta start? <laughs> you don't have to do it. I mean, if you if you don't want to tell it to the whole internet, I completely understand. Nah, but we put my you on body. The spot. Yeah, I, I'm gonna put everybody on the spot. Yeah. I would say is imagine. Don't yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't All right, chat. Y'all, y'all, like y'all heard it. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. About seven people done touched me in my whole life, my whole 25 years of life. All right, now times <laughs> it by life. three guys, so 21. Okay. What about you? Yeah, no. uh, if you a real like follower of me or a real fan of me, you know my body count, and I don't have to say it on here. Okay, you already know. Okay, okay. Yeah. people who already follow but should know. What about you, baby? <laughs> uh, you know what? I ain't gonna put myself out there like that, but I know it's I I, I can't count them on two hands. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. I, I can't count them on two hands. She's being real. Uh, that was, uh, <laughs> at least she's just saying double digits. Like, that, that could be anywhere. <laughs> that, that could be anywhere from ten to ninety nine, guys. What about you? Like we all gotta take a drink to that. <laughs> I'm 27. I got a couple, you know what I'm saying? Years <laughs> so is this is this plus or minus your age? Let's get that. Ooh. Uh, minus. Hey, happy birthday. Belated birthday. Yeah, happy belated I'll birthday. I'll be outside. Though. I'm not going to lie.
Okay. Uh, hey, like, we're just saying, hey, honestly, honestly, drive honestly, 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 before you buy. Well, like, the whole point not. of the show is, is to teach men, you know, and like the only way we could teach men how women are is if y'all are honest. So, no, thank you. Thank you so much for being honest because guys really can't know how women really are if they're not honest with us. So, what is, you know? why are you asking? What does that mean? What does that determine by you asking it? We're going to, uh, we'll uh, it's, it's kind of like a we'll starter question to like other things. You'll see. I what about you? Like, into the mic for us. So yeah, yeah. Can you into the mic for us? My yeah. homeboy used to tell me he'll wipe a porn star, so I don't care. But mm. men that has made me come, three. Okay. No, but but, but so you're only one. counting those that made you come? Yeah. What the Can hell? You give us some. Well, we're doing it that way. Yes. Then, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give it to her, guys. Okay. You so said no. he was married. No, this is my homeboy. He just said he'll wipe a porn star, so I was like, I'm just stand at my pocket. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey. <laughs> now, all right, guys. Now I want to know: Does body count matter? Does it no. even matter? We'll start with you because we already kind of talked about. It. Does, uh, body does, count does not matter. Does not matter. Does it matter? No, because I feel like you can sleep with two people a year, and that's a year. That's twenty-four people. Like, <laughs> okay. Does body count matter? Yeah, it does matter. You need to have some type of experience on you. I'm not no practice run, so yeah, you need to have some. Oh, out, some oh well, I understand. Yeah, uh, it matters. Hold on. Yeah. I'm sorry to cut you off. Go back. To the last girl, did you just say <laughs> I mean, you get two people a year? No, and if you, you if that's you get, twelve people. I mean, like say if, if you even if you slept with one person people. a month, if you slept with one person a month, that's twelve people in a year. I don't. I feel like that don't. Sound that's so bad. easy, huh? Right. Okay. I don't feel so like, easy to do that. Like, I, don't, I don't feel like that sounds bad. Like I slept with one person every month this year. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> At sound first, sound I thought you. I could have swore you said bad. two people a year, and that's twenty. I mean, not people. saying that's what I do, but like, what? <laughs> a thirty days between. Hey, we uh, advertise a little bit. Uh, Donnie, um, turn that one knob Look. just a little bit up that I was telling you about, the one on the far right, because they said it was a little bit uh, low. But I would just turn that one knob that I told you about on the far right just a little bit up, the one that's to all the microphones. Yeah, um, that should be better. Okay, it should be better now. Uh, what about uh, you? Um, uh, does body count matter? I think body count matters if you press in body count. So if you're a man and you press in a girl's body count, then your body count better be around the same body mm. count that mm. you expected her to be. That's the only time when I feel like it matters. Uh, so, it matters. so like, do um, do you think men and women are the same sexually? No. No. Mm -hmm. So, so could you understand since we're not the same sexually that it might be better for one sex to have more and for the other to not? Yeah. So, uh, if you can agree to that, then why would you say that it matters for like, like if the man's being pressed on it? You know, like if we're different sexually, then why can't he be pressed on the woman? Because he needs to worry about himself. What do you mean? He needs to worry about his body count, not about her body count. So if he's so pressed about hit a woman's body count, then that means like, okay, I reciprocate energy. Maybe I need to be pressed about your body count. Do, do, do you know why a guy would be pressed over a woman's body count? Uh, Probably no, actually. Uh, I'll explain to you why. So for 300,000 years as, as homo sapiens, we've always had it to where a man was always uh, able to sleep with more people because obviously he can come 365 days a year, you know, but y'all have um, cycles. So you can only have a baby, you know, so many weeks out of the month or whatever it is. And there was not birth control. There was not, um, you know, abortion. There was not all these things for thousands of years. So for hundreds of thousands of years, humans or men, we didn't want the girl that slept around a lot because that's horrible for your because you can't get a DNA test to know if it's your child or not back then. So we didn't want uh, when you were when we were just cave people, we didn't want a woman that was sleeping around with everybody because we couldn't know if that was our kid or not. There was no physically possible way to figure it out. So that's why men are very against it. And if you look through all out throughout history, men are admired for having high body counts. It's always been that way. Kings, sultans rulers of, of dynasties it's always been that way but what are women though what have women been for all of history multipliers for... we gonna multiply what you give me yeah but 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 but, <laughs> but, but, but what you got to understand though is it's always been seen as bad if a woman sleeps around it's not like i'm just coming out with this you know this year no dude, this has been something for three hundred thousand years as homo sapiens we've been like women do not sleep around men do sleep around but it worked both ends because it's a sexual energy exchange so if you're a man and you're sleeping with 20 other women and you that energy is passing on to the 21st woman that you had sex I'll with. I'll explain to you why it doesn't. So when a woman has an orgasm or when y'all have sex, y'all release something called oxytocin. Men also release it, but not even close to the amount. Like I'm talking 
three percent compared to what a woman releases and that's called the love chemical i'm sure y'all heard about oxytocin and it's and so when y'all have sex with somebody you do build a bond with them and the pro and the, what's really scary too is after 10 times like it statistically shows after 10 15 times you don't you're not even able to build that same bond like you're able to the first and second time so it's a very big deal when women sleep around it's not just some small little thing it's massive it actually makes it if you look at the statistics your likelihood of having a successful marriage plummets after 10 bodies it plummets after five but just even 10 sounds you know is too hard to get to the, like who the hell can find a girl that has less than 10 bodies it's not it's not a thing anymore as y'all know like it's just not possible like every girl slept with more than 10 people today <laughs> but it sounds but, crazy though because men they always talk about body count body count but they hit the same girl after they homeboy so it doesn't yeah. make sense well so this is what y'all need to also understand see when women have sex y'all y'all look at it a completely different way because of the oxytocin being released and everything y'all think that sex equals love sometimes and a guy is not the same guy it's just the physical thing it's like taking a piss it's not even close to the same as what but the problem is women project how they feel onto the men and men do the same thing bro like men all the time will project thinking that women like certain things but really it's not like that at all it's the opposite and women do the same thing y'all like a lot of women think that y'all i'm sure some of y'all might if i asked y'all what does a man really want y'all would maybe name off stuff like uh, a successful woman a college a girl with a college degree a, a girl with no, a good we business stuff. no we well, wouldn't you're projecting right now well, I'm just saying most I've, I, I've had I've had over about 70 girls come on the show so far. And most of them, every panel has been if I ask them, what do men want? Most of them have said, oh, somebody that, that has a good business or has a good job, you know, we'll ask, like, I'm that brings a lot to we'll, the table. We'll ask that after this, Sergio. I yeah, well, it's already ruined now. Like they're going to answer it completely different. I don't know what men <laughs> But uh, <laughs> I, have I still don't say, think y'all know. But... but yeah, here, yeah, I thought you wanted to say something. You can go ahead. Um, so I, I want to know, um, does body count matter to you? I think body count, it don't matter, but it do, if that makes sense. Like, it depends on the type of situation you in and the type of person. Just like what you was talking about in men and their whole perception and how they feel. If they, you know, like they can fuck more women, basically, is what you're saying. And they don't get that type of attachment. Like, us as women, you basically saying we can fuck one, two, three people. We losing like you get what I'm saying that attachment, I, but yeah. the thing is, if you do your research, men release a bonding chemical when they fucking come in you. So. No, it's not. It was, yes, it is. Well, are you they, talking about in the man's brain? Yeah, no, they come inside. Yes, you, their releases. DNA will be inside of you for the rest of your life. But and the no, woman, and the woman, no, no five days. Is. Five days. Let's get that right, ladies. That's why you can uh, take a plan B up to five days. Gonna get that right. You got five days, ladies. There's Dang. plenty of studies that show the that when y'all sleep around, those, a little piece of that guy is with you. I could bring it up all day long. And There's just tons like of studies we that show. Shaw. And know what? That DNA change it causes an epigenetic effect. And that DNA changes that that happens, it goes through to your children. It can literally affect your children twenty years later. Okay. Give and me like, about and most people don't seconds. want to even. Give me about twenty seconds to speak. So you want to speak all this, go on and go on and pull up the facts for me. Because, honey, I know y'all release a bonding chemical in us just as well. So. No, we don't. You're yes, 